Thanks. It's going to be a hauntingly good time in Big Stone Gap next week on Halloween as the Southwest Virginia Museum Historical State Park hosts their annual Hoots and Haints Family Festival. And there will be lots of Halloween fun. And here to tell us what's in store, Gretchen Cope back in studio. Gretchen, welcome. Great. It's always wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me back again. You guys have had a busy, busy year. We've had a very busy year, which is what we wanted for our 75th anniversary. So it's working out really well and we're nearing the end of the year, but it's, it's been a really, really good one. Very good. Well, tell us about Hoots and Haints and what everybody can expect when they head out to the park. Well, it's on Halloween, October 31st, of course, from 5 to 9 p.m. The same hours that the town of Big Stone Gap does trick-or-treating, so there's all sorts of fun stuff going on all through the town all evening long. At our event, we'll have crafts, coloring, several different games for all who attend. We'll also have a haunted attraction, family friendly, of course, and our friends group will be there offering free hot chocolate for all children who attend. And this all is right. something you guys have done before. It is. We do it every year and it's always a lot of fun. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but we also have a fortune teller and that's always really exciting for the participants. But it's, I mean, it's really, really grown. We actually had to move it from the grounds of the museum to one of our other nearby lots there on the property because it's just expanded over the years. The town of Big Stone Gap really goes all out and we're excited to be a part of that. And having it on Halloween, you know, you get up there in Southwest Virginia, some of those houses are kind of spread out. This has got to be a good opportunity to be able to do a community Halloween event. That is very true, and we have people come all over. It's not just people local to Big Stone Gap. They really travel from all over to come because you're right. They can walk around, they can see all the houses, they can see what the town's got going on downtown, and we're right in the middle of town. So you've got a state park, a town, a huge neighborhood where family can just get out and have fun and enjoy the holiday. Talk about the significance of actually celebrating on the holiday. We see a lot of events happening this weekend, but uh, there's something different about doing it on actual Halloween. You're right. It's just the tradition, and I appreciate that with what I do and you know state parks and Virginia State Parks especially we're all about that tradition and, and what that means which is part of the reason you know, our our event is titled Hoots and Haints it's not just a Halloween event and it's just a, a throwback to you know a haint and what that is a ghost or an evil spirit is you know something that's been traditionally called throughout the southern states anyway. So. I'm glad you broke it down for me because yeah. I had no idea. A lot of people think <laughs> it's a typo yeah they're like you meant to say haunt and no it was haint it was intentional. So, yeah, hey, that's definitely. okay to explain it we've got a lot of new people coming to the Tri-Cities might not know that Appalachian lore there. Yeah it's very interesting. All right, well, let's talk about, you know, I, I want to talk about the haunted attraction. What can people expect going through there? Obviously, you said family friendly, but are we going to get a little spooky? Oh, of course. We're definitely going to get <laughs> spooky. We filter people through pretty slowly, and we'll have staff that inform the volunteers inside the haunted attraction who we have going through. That way we know if it's a teenager or if it's somebody a little bit younger, <laughs> and we can try to scare appropriately. <laughs> and the fortune teller, that's a nice little figure. Definitely. And that's another one that we... We're all about interpretation of Virginia State Parks, and when I say that about the experience and making sure that it's appropriate for the area and that it just fits the theme of the park. So it's a lot of work and a lot of planning goes into that, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Have you learned anything from the fortune teller? Can you tell us anything? I'm always too busy to make it to the fortune teller. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the, the kids, I mean, last year there was, there was a pretty good line, but we keep them moving through pretty quickly. Yeah, too. fortune tellers freak me out. I don't want to know what's happening. <laughs> Unless you're going to give me the Mega Millions numbers, then I will go right on over to that this fortune is all fun teller. Stuff, though. That's all fun stuff. <laughs> well, Gretchen, thank you so much. It is on Halloween next Tuesday from 5 to 9 p.m., and there will be games, haunted attractions, fortune telling, crafts, refreshments, and so much more. Admission is free, so come enjoy some safe Halloween fun. We will be right back.